Hello guys, welcome back for another text effect tutorial. Today we're going to explore a hollow text effect. So let's get down to it. The first thing we're going to do is name our background layer and then change the color. To do this, we're going to right click, blending options, color overlay and then choose our color. I'm going to choose dark red. You can choose any color of your choice. Take another layer and draw a circle. This is going to be the source of our light. So I'm going to make it a lighter shade and then apply Gaussian Blur on it. Once that is in place, we will choose our text. I'm going to use hello. So I'm typing it out and I'll use a blockier font for this. I'm going to use a Neometric for this. It's a great font, has a lot of weights. Yeah. That's a notification. The next step will be to keep a copy of this text layer just in case we do something to the current one and it is not editable anymore. Now comes the coolest part. We're going to select that text layer and then we're going to go to blending options and we will choose four major effects. Number one will be stroke. I'm going to choose a lighter red for this and make some minor adjustments. Then I'm going to choose the color overlay option and choose a darker red for contrast. Then I will go to inner shadow and then again make some minor adjustments to make that effect really pop. And lastly, the drop shadow. Some very minor tweaks and there you go. Feel free to go back and tweak a little bit of uh, details here and there if you feel uh, something is missing or something is not quite right. It's absolutely okay. This is completely editable and this is the coolest part of this entire thing. You can change the form and you can change the text. This text effect is completely editable. Yeah, how cool is that? You can play with different fonts, different texts, the possibilities are just endless. 
but I'm going to go back to my initial hello because that's one part of the whole text that I'm going to do. I'll type in my second part of the text which is sexy. I'm using a script font here but again this is completely up to you. You can choose any kind of font that you want but just make sure it looks okay. That's that's all. For contrast I have kept the text color white but again you can tweak it according to your own need. Whatever you feel like. Once I have this text in place I'll quickly go ahead and put a soft drop shadow so that it looks like it's coming up. Again, a few tweaks here and there, some adjustments and click OK. Now it's time to mask it because I really want the hook of the S to like catch the second L. So it, it looks unique. Make sure you have the black selected and then you're just going to brush over the part that you want to hide. I tilted the whole thing just to emphasize on uh, how that sexy is like bringing the hello down or like tracking it down. I wanted to sort of portray that effect. Yeah, I have a lot of free time guys. That's why I'm going to demonstrate how you can change this text also. You can change the text to darling or sweetheart or my dearie, whatever it's your heart's content. It's absolutely up to you guys. You can just do whatever you want with this. It's completely editable. You can change the font, you can change the color, you can change the text. That was it guys, a super simple text effect that you can just whip up in 10 minutes or less depending upon your prowess. If you choose to make a artwork with this text effect and if I helped you, please do tag me in your artworks. I would really really love to see them and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.